Yeah, huh? this is Dave Windorf from Monster Magic, baby. What's happening? You are watching Reality Check Video Magazine in San Francisco. Hey, James. Ed. Hey, Ed. Nice to meet you. My name is also Ed, but everyone calls me Billy Guitar. Have the shenanigans have been on the road? <laughs> Ask those two. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> More than I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> the mighty Dave Windorf of Monster Magnet. And uh, how you doing, Dave? What's happening, man? What is everybody? TV land. What do you say? So I guess uh, tell us a little bit about uh, the tour and stuff like that and uh, your, your current record. Well, the tour's a freak show, man. I mean, it's just like, you know, every night go to a different place, um, filled with people painted up like ghouls, wanting to rock. Um, a lot of mixtures of alcohol and antidepressants, which is really like a, a kind of they a... They kind of counter counteract each other. It's a new, yeah, they, they counteract each other. So we see this behavior that I've never seen before. Like I've been doing this for like 10 years, and the last like four um, has been a brand new thing. It's not, it's not LSD, but it's like behavior that's much like LSD. <laughs> When people take antidepressants and they drink on top of it, they go absolutely out of their mind. So that's pretty all, much what we're all all, uh, all uh, inhibitions completely disappear. Well, it's the rainbow of emotions from the like the top <laughs> to the bottom. I mean everything. You know they're horny, they're mad, they're nervous, they're not nervous. I mean back and forth, and um, li literally in the span of like an hour, you'll see somebody go through uh, on an emotional roller coaster. <laughs> it's we like had this the um, ten faces of Eve or something. We had this female cop, a police woman, off duty, about six foot tall. Like, very manly, come on the bus, wanted to have sex. Um, and we were afraid. We were very afraid. <laughs> Be very afraid. <laughs> she proceeded to, like, talk about her antidepressant and how it dried her up down there. Oh, man. And, uh, You're like, thanks for sharing. <laughs> pounding Jack Daniels, drank a half a, back, half a bottle of Jack Daniels, and proceeded to kickbox us all into oblivion. <laughs> it was a security nightmare. I mean, within... Five minutes, half the band was taken out, completely taken out by kickboxing, and um, strewn about the bus. Security guys that couldn't get back into the tunnel of the of the bus to <laughs> remove the yes. comatose on the floor. And uh, so, take it from me. I mean, that's like it's wild. It's crazy. I think. With the titles for your songs, I mean, it's like Negasonic Teenage Warhead. I mean, it's boring to call songs, you know, what they are. <laughs> right. Yeah. So you just. So I can't call this song. I will deny you. It's just stupid. So, and then, I don't know. It comes from, I guess, stuff that I read when I was a kid. Uh -huh. Yeah, you obviously have a lot of like uh, sci-fi and horror influences. I mean, you can see it in the videos too. The vernacular of of um, comic books and science fiction is really fun to apply to um, normal life. It's kind of spices up life, you know. So. <laughs> So the, the uh, current record is what? We're number four down the line here now? For Yeah. Um, if you're counting, I think it's like number five because we did like a. Yeah. And uh, AM's and still treating you well? Yeah, AM's good. You know, they're a giant company. They're, you know, and, and it's a giant to us. You know, we throw a rock at the giant and hope we wake him up, you know. <laughs> you awake? Huh? And, um, yeah. And, Can I have some money? Dad? You know, dad of all dads? Okay. Okay. Here have some money. And then they run away with it and then come back and go, like, do I do it okay? And they're like, no, sell more, more. Sell more. Seems to be doing pretty well so far. Yeah, they haven't kicked me out yet. And the video is getting some play. Yeah. 
the good thing about a and is they have people there that um, will allow you to do what you want and they won't interfere, they don't even bother, they just go, I guess he knows what he's doing. You pretty much conceptualize the videos, do you not? Yeah. And uh, like, um, the, my favorite though is Negasonic. Negasonic Teenage Warhead. For those of you who haven't seen that video, it's definitely a trip into, literally a trip into outer space. <laughs> Your latest video is Space Lord. Space Lord, yeah, I just want to do a rap video. <laughs> you know? The last video I made like cost a lot of money. It took me like three days to make, and I did all this specifications on asteroids and outer space, and it was really cool. It's like making great video. Wars. It was like making Star Wars, and it was a big a lot of fun for me to create, but not a lot of fun to shoot. Yeah, it must have been mad. And this time I was like, you know, nobody even cares about this anyway. I bust my ass doing outer space, all this stuff, and nobody really cares. I'm just gonna get into a situation where I'm gonna have a good time and um, basically and you went to rip Vegas off rap guys, you know? Yeah. Those guys are rocking. I want <laughs> that. Pimping. Those guys have. Yeah. I want a car. I want like a million girls. I want an expense account. <laughs> I'm going to Vegas. I'm gonna shoot a video. It's gonna be no hassle, and I'm gonna spend as much money as I possibly can. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love that. Yeah, I mean, so we did it, and you know something? It worked. It was fun, and it got played on TV. So. Yeah. Go figure. You're gonna pretty much stay out on the road to support this bad boy, huh? Yeah, the only way to do this stuff with a with a band like mine is to deliver the music personally. Because yep. when you get the middleman of record company press, usually the the intent and the innuendo that's involved with the music and the band itself gets totally lost and gets painted in even broader strokes than I could possibly imagine. And it's important for me to actually get up there and look people in the eye mm -hmm. and say, you know. It's serious now, now it's not serious. I'm kidding around, I'm not kidding around. Um, rock is, to me, was always such, and punk rock, especially because I grew up through punk rock, is always a, a real cool way to reinvent yourself. And, but it's important to be human at the same time. It's not like, you know, this isn't a Van Halen thing, or it's not a mm -hmm. real rock thing, mm -hmm. but I'm playing it that way. Mm -hmm. But I have to be able to see people in the eye for them to know that. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, yeah, I mean, you have to, you know, and um, so we, that means we have to stay on the road. This is not like... Relentlessly. Like release an album and say, okay, like, you know, dwell on that, because if they do, <laughs> they'll be wrong, you know, so I have to go out there and do it myself. I was always like not a horror guy, but a monster guy. I was like Ray Harryhausen and stuff. Uh -huh. um, Earth versus the Flying Saucers, yeah. the Beast from 20,000 Fathoms, anything that pit like American military against giant dinosaurs. <laughs> it was just like, you, great. you know, I was like, all right, how are you gonna stop a prehistoric beast with a bazooka? With a bazooka, you know. <laughs> I could like dig that stuff more than I can dig the horror stuff because the horror stuff is like, well, try and scare me. Yeah, yeah. You can't it's pretty hard, yeah. But just the sight. Uh, Harry Hasm was always like really good with the scope. Yeah. He always tried to impress everyone. This is how big the monster is. And shoot it all the way back. Here is the Empire State Building. Here is the monster. <laughs> Here is the person that's and then burn, burn. Great music. <laughs> crushing. <laughs> You know, the uncut King Kong is pretty, I mean, Kong's like sticking his finger and taking her dress off for crying out loud. Yeah, I've actually seen that. I have seen that. It's and pretty amazing. has got the whole like heaving bosom thing going on. It's pretty obvious, you know. It's yeah, you gotta love Faye Ray. I don't think she says two words in the whole movie. Yeah, but she screams like a banshee. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Dude, it's been an honor and a privilege having you with us here on Reality Check, finally. Right on. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you around. Bye, everybody.